Hey everybody, it's Jason and Keith. I'm Keith. And I'm Jason. And this is our first uh, half dollar hunt that we're going to upload to YouTube. We tried to go live and we are one day late for going live. They upped the criteria for going live. You have to have a thousand subscribers now, which we do not. And we got 38. We're getting there. Yeah, we're almost there. So then we tried to use uh, YouTube's <clears throat> software to record the video so we could do the whole hunt live, uh, recorded, uploaded to YouTube. And that's not quite working out for us. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do, <clears throat> excuse me, like a split video where obviously we've already opened up a couple rolls. We're going to do our open and then we're going to do our wrap up at the end. We apologize. It's not exactly the way we wanted our first roll hunt to go but we're going to adapt and overcome so mm -hmm. hopefully you guys will stick with us so the way we're going to do our our half dollar hunts is we're going to do them just like everything that comes out of this box is going to go into our collection so anything that's high mint state obviously nfc's if they're keepable uh, if we find a 2014 that's been drugged behind a truck for a dirt road mile, which we've seen, which we've seen plenty of, like yesterday, yeah, <laughs> then it's not it's not going to go in our collection, no. and it's we're not going to keep it. I mean, obviously, Nipsey's our criteria is a little bit different than a lot of people's, which is hence the name Coin Snobs. Hence the name Coin Snobs. Mm -hmm. uh, we think our uh, our criteria is really hard to get past. I mean, if we're if we're if we're giving rolls for donations, we might come off of that for the NIFSIs a little bit for not a, not issued for circulations and give those out. But uh, anything else that would go in our collection, whether it's strike doubling uh, errors, just cool coins, because we found several of them that that uh, really don't have a lot of numismatic value, but we keep them in our collection just because they're cool coins. Um, if we find something like that, then we're gonna put it in your collection also. But that's somewhere down the road, so we're gonna go through this box just like it was going in our collection. What did I forget? Nah, uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, just as a good example though, as far as the coin snobs thing goes, like this right here, this is from these are returns from two boxes from me spending literally hours with the microscope going through coins that we found. And they look good with this, but then when I put them under the USB microscope, they just, they don't pass the criteria. I mean, if something's not, for us anyways, if it's not mid state 66 or better, we don't usually keep it unless it's an error, uh, a variety or something, you know, just, you know, cool. Like if it's a cool counter strike, if it's, you know, something like that, then we might keep it. But if it doesn't have, uh, uh, if it doesn't mean usually mid state 65 66 depending on the coin especially if it's a more common coin then we just don't keep it it goes back in our cold pile and we pull something out of here and we put that back in and make full rolls so i mean that's i think that's pretty much it um we're gonna go through this whole box of halves right here and then i will well we will do a wrap up and we'll see uh, if we find anything cool and awesome but we'll be back with you pretty shortly all right, guys, I am back. Keith had to leave because he works tomorrow, but he still got me. Uh, I'm just going to do a, a quick wrap-up here, give you an idea of some of the stuff that we keep. Um, didn't find a lot, didn't find any silver. Um, but a couple of decent things. Not too bad. A couple of examples to show you guys real quick, too, of what we keep and what we don't keep. Uh, first off, let's do what Keith found here. This is one of Keith's finds. Uh, now this one here, I'll show you up here on the scope. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, it's got a little bit of strike doubling, which a lot of people don't keep, but I, I keep it because it's, you know, it's worth more than 50 cents. And some people do collect them. A lot of times I sell them on eBay, but um, it's not true doubling. It's actual machine doubling. Uh, it's where the die is actually a little bit loose inside of the, uh, the, um, the, the actual machine that strikes the coin and when it comes up it actually scrapes a little bit or rotates a little bit and uh, causes a scraping as you can kind of see right there on the D and the F but it also has a clash as you can see between the D and the F there 
And there's a little bit of strike doubling you can see there on the L. And then there is also a little bit of clashing apparent right around the stars in between the rays, but it's, it's kind of hard to see on the scope. Okay, and then he also found a pretty decent 2006 D Nipsey. Good coin, it's been circulated a little bit, but it's actually still in pretty decent shape. Okay, and let's see what else we've got here. Let's take a look at the scope. Some more strike doubling. Actually, some really good strike doubling. Again, it's not true double die. Uh, it's, not, it's not a real double die, but I mean, it's just, it's kind of cool looking. This is a really good one. You can see it really good there on the A and the C. And it's pretty much more or less all the way around the coin. So it's got some circulation, but it has the strike doubling, which like I said, not a true double die, but it's kind of cool. So we do typically keep those. And then let's see what else he found here. Looks like there's a little bit of clashing on that one also between the F and the D. Not super apparent. But it's there. We do find quite a few of them that are clashed like that, but... Not super obvious, but it is there. Circulated coin, but the clashing is kind of cool. Yeah, you can kind of see it there between the F and the D. Alright. And then let's see what I found. 78D. This one I wasn't sure about. It looks like strike doubling or maybe a de uh, degraded die on the obverse. Uh, it's it's pretty common for a strike doubled Kennedy to have like a double profile, but what's weird about it is it's only in the lip area. Typically you'll see it down here towards the jowls too and like right around the nose, the eyes, but it's only right there at the mouth. And if you look at it, it's also struck through grease. There's quite a bit of material there. Missing, you can kind of see it there with the shadows. Yeah, there we go. But kind of an interesting coin. Probably nothing, you know, super spectacular, but it's kind of different, kind of neat. And let's see here. It's got some more of the clashing between the F and the D. Yeah, there you go. You can see it in the shadow there. Again, like I said, pretty common for us to find those, but... Still kind of a cool coin. Nothing spectacular. Circulated. Yeah, let's see what else we got here. Yeah, some more of that strike doubling we were just talking about. It's nothing spectacular, but it's just kind of cool looking. You can see it there on the bottom of the tail feathers. Really good on the D, the O, the Ls. Okay, pretty well circulated coin, but it's got the strike doubling. Some more strike doubling on this guy here. Alright. And... This might have been the one of the ones that I found that was clashed. Let's see here. Ah yes, struck through grease. Right there, just to the left of his right wing, left wing from our perspective, if you look at it, you can see a little bit of clashing right there. Or not clashing, I'm sorry, struck through grease. And actually, it's a decent coin. Yeah, what else we got here? 72. This is a good example of an extremely degraded die. This is when a die gets towards the end of its life expectancy. Uh, it's pretty common to find this in a Kennedy. 
and it's obvious from like this is what I was talking about before where you can see kind of the double jowl you can see right there in front of the lips and the eye is definitely definitely shows the doubling but that's just from metal flow from an extremely worn dye and also it looks like it's it's got a lamination peel but I don't think it's actual true lamination it almost looks like it's damage I gotta look at that one a little bit better it's interesting though because it almost has a bit of a gold color underneath it instead of the copper color it's really strange I haven't seen that before and then it also has a giant die crack which is another sign of a a die that it's it's at the end of its life expectancy going right there through the T all the way through the T almost like that die is ready to lose that entire chip off of it right there just an extremely worn die all the metal flow so again not not anything that's really worth any money but it's just kind of a cool looking coin the verse isn't quite as bad, but you can tell that it's also kind of towards his life expectancy. You can see all the metal flow down there. Okay. And let's see what we got here. A 97. This one's kind of beat up. It's pretty well worn, but it does have a die crack coming off the bottom of the bust there. You can kind of see it right there. Bottom of the bust, right in front of the nine, going in at probably, yeah, probably about a 45 degree angle. Again, heavily worn coin, but it's kind of a cool die crack. I usually keep everything that has a die crack. And then, 2008 P. Nipsey definitely shows some sign of circulation, but it's not in too bad a shape. That one might come back into the coals, but we'll see. And then, I had a really nice 77. Or sorry, 72 Denver. It's not a bad looking coin at all. Shows a little bit of circulation on the high points like usual, like the cheek. The reverse looks really nice. Some more wear there on the Eagle's uh, shield. But not a bad coin. Like I said, this wasn't a super good box, so we're just kind of grabbing at straws, I think, at some point. <laughs> All right. And then, this one, this is the very first time, and in fact, we almost missed it. Didn't even realize it. Neither one of us realized what it was until... We kind of went back to it. This is our very first ever 1987 Nipsey. First time we've ever pulled one out of a roll. And it took us probably a good hour for it to click into our heads that it was actually a Nipsey. We kept it, or I kept it actually. I was the one that found it. I kept it because I realized, oh, you know, it's a good looking coin. And then all of a sudden it dawned on us, hey, that's an 87. That's, that's a Nipsey. The reverse is really nice looking. Really good strike. Proof like fields. Again, it does show some signs of circulation, but I mean, that's what happens when you pull it out of a roll. It happens. Great looking fields, though. Good looking coin. All right. And then I've got a couple examples of coins that are Nipsey's that we're not going to keep. This is kind of what Keith was talking about earlier, where even if it's a Nipsey, we're, we're not necessarily going to keep it because it just has too much damage. This one's just way too circulated. There's way too much going on with that coin. And it's a shame because that was a beautifully struck coin. 2008 Philadelphia. Good looking coin, but it's just got way, way, way too much circulation on it. You can see where it's taking some hits there. The eagle's right wing. Especially, you can see there's a scrape going all the way across that shield, all the way through the wing. So that one's not a keeper. I mean, it's it's a shame whenever we find a Nipsey like that, but we do find them. And then we got a 2006, yeah, 2006 Denver. Not a lot of circulation, but the crimper got it. So automatically. 
crimper gets it unless it's something that's a really expensive variety or error or something like that we're we're not going to keep it because it's it's a damaged coin another one here 2010 Philadelphia again a Nipsey just way too much wear giant bag mark across his cheek right there reading from another coin yeah, and the shield is just destroyed yeah it's a shame because that was again that was a good looking coin eagle's head is just terrible so that one's going in the coals Two thousand three, Philadelphia. Again, Crimper got it. Crimper damage, no bueno. Couple bag marks on the cheek, across the jowls. Just way too many hits. Eagle's head is just destroyed. Two thousand seven Denver. Again, just too many bag marks all across his ear, cheeks, jowl. Yeah, it's just it's no good. No bueno. Doesn't look like it was that good of a strike to begin with, actually. So it's not. Not too big of a deal, but it was a Nipsey. A little bit better than that, we would have kept it, but not so much. All right, so not that good of a box. With these guys here. Those are probably the best ones out of the bunch right there. That 87 Nipsey, of course. And that 72D. 72D is a really good looking coin. Grab it by the edge there so I don't put any fingerprints on it. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, guys. Going to end the video here. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to put videos up every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, schedule permitting. Uh, and like Keith was saying earlier, we have to hit 1,000 subscribers before we actually can do a live stream, which is kind of a bummer. I was really excited to do a live stream, but that's okay. Hopefully we'll get there sooner than later. Uh, we are going to have a 100 subscriber uh, giveaway. I haven't figured out what the giveaway is going to be yet. Uh, right now we're sitting at 38 subscribers, so not too far off from that. Um, if you guys have any comments, suggestions, anything like that, let me know in the comments. Anything we can do better, anything different. And above all else, uh, if there's any ideas for you guys, whether you want me to do like instructional videos, uh, just keep doing the half dollar boxes, you know, maybe uh, we're probably going to do some quarter boxes as well. Again, we can't do those live yet, but we can always do it this way where we go through the box, do the introductions, show you the box opening, and then we can go and do the wrap up. Um, but again, got any comments, suggestions, whatever, let us know. Please, you know, just comment, subscribe, leave us a like, and we will see you. Let's see, this is Friday, so I should be seeing you on Monday. Guys, have a great night, great day, and we'll see you soon.